Dr. David Oyedepo wrote a book titled The Blood Triumph. And I remember a young man reading the book because the young man had pile, and a very chronic pile for that matter. And while the young man was reading the book, he saw where Bishop made a very profound statement. He said, get the communion material and whatever that is the issue that we are confronted with, we are face to face with, confront them with the blood and you will triumph. And the young man engaged the blood. That was the days of his youth service. The young man engaged the blood that very day. And that was the end of chronic pile. That was the end of chronic pile. Can you get your communion material quickly? We're going to do something very fast as we start. Get your communion material and please can you write what you want the blood to confront and place it side by side with the communion. Put your communion, put the paper by the side. Put your communion, whatever you want the blood to confront, put it by the side. Can you lift up your voice and begin to shout the blood of Jesus? It's a special night. Shout the blood of Jesus. We're going to put the blood to work. And we're going to see the effect that is in the blood of Jesus. Come on, shout it again, the blood of Jesus Christ. Can you shout it the third time, the blood of Jesus Christ? Now, why am I asking you to shout it multiple times till seven times? Leviticus chapter 4, verse 6. The Bible speaking, it says, The priest shall dip his finger inside the blood seven times. The priest shall dip his finger. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before the, the Lord in the front of the veil of a sanctuary. And when he sprinkled it seven times, Matthew chapter 27, verse 50. The Bible speaking, it says, And the veil was torn into two. Then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two. Because the priest, Jesus, our high priest, came and sprinkled the blood from seven places. So when I ask you to sprinkle in seven places, everything that refused to give way must give way. Everything that refused to give you access must give you access. Tonight, the blood must triumph. Nothing stopped the blood from triumphing. In the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, a terrible war was going on. And they introduced the blood. And the Bible speaking, and they overcame him by the blood of Jesus Christ. They overcame him by the blood of Jesus Christ. And they overcame him by the, that means they triumphed by the blood. They prevailed by the blood. I, I want you to begin to declare tonight that I shall triumph tonight by the blood of Jesus. Over this matter that I've written, begin to pray it and say by the blood. I shall triumph over barrenness by the blood. I will triumph over fruitlessness by the blood. I will triumph over failure by the blood. I triumph over stagnation by the blood. I triumph over this sickness by the blood. I triumph over this attitude issue by the blood. I triumph over this issue that I have been struggling to advance, to make progress, to carry out this project. I triumph by the blood. I triumph over relationship. I triumph over marital delay and marital stagnation. I triumph by the blood. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. They overcame him by the blood or they prevailed by the blood or they triumphed by the blood. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. They brought the ark of the covenant and placed it side by side with the God of the Philistines. They gone. And in the morning, they gone, fell down flat. In the book of Exodus, chapter 12, when they introduced the blood in 12 and 13, God said, I will pass through the land of Egypt that night. The blood is going to be a sign in the house where you live. When I say the blood, I will pass over. I will not allow the plagues that was upon the Egyptian to be upon you. Declare it. I shall triumph by the Lord, whatever that is happening to others, even in my lineage, shall not happen to me. I prevail by the blood. I triumph by the blood. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11. The same blood showed up. The Bible speaking, it said, Through the everlasting blood of the covenant, when I bring you out of the pit wherein there is no water, every issue you have entered in life, you come out of it by the blood. Lift up your voice and begin to declare I come out by the blood of Jesus. I prevail by the blood of Jesus. I triumph by the blood of Jesus. Declare it. Make sure that you are. Praying Hakatosa makes inkly to Payagaba. The blood cannot go to war and come back defeated. The blood does not go to war and come back with stories. The blood prevails. The blood triumphs. The blood is victorious. Declare tonight. I prevail. I triumph. Bye. The blood of Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Second Corinthians 
chapter 2 verse 14. He said, now thanks be to God who always lead us in triumph in Christ. And through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. Thanks be to God who always lead us in triumph. What is the instrument or what was the instrument that he usually used to lead us in triumph? The word and the blood. The word and the blood. The word and the blood. You can't take two of them to the battle and lose in the battles of life. You can't take two of them to the battlefield of life. So if we are talking about Moses, he took the rod and he also took the blood. Talking about Jesus, he took the word of God and he brought out the blood from his body. The combination of both will always cause an eruption of triumph. Therefore, I stand here tonight and I'm declaring over that barrenness you prevail. Over that stagnated life you prevail. Over that issue that keeps on showing up like a circle. It is broken. I'm praying for you. Over that thing that have caused you to be kept in one place. You advance in life. You cannot be kept in one place. Over that thing that wants you to fail. You succeed. By the blood of Jesus Christ. There is nothing that will cause you not to triumph. Thanks be to God. Who always lead us in triumph. I'd like you to begin to declare it. I will not fail. And I will not lose. I will never fail. And I will not lose. In the journey of my life, I will never lose. In the journey of my life, I will not fail. Thanks be to God who always lead us in triumph. I triumph over principalities and powers. I triumph over sickness and diseases. I triumph over lack and poverty. Are you praying? Are you praying now? That thing you've written that is on top of wherever you place it. Take a little of a communion. I turn every communion material in your life, in your hands, in your house, in your office. I turn it into the blood of Jesus. Begin to sprinkle it. Begin to sprinkle it upon it. Begin to sprinkle it. Now, sprinkle it and begin to declare. The blood speaks better thing over the thing I've written. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. Sprinkle and declare the blood speaks better thing. The blood speaks better thing. Yes, the blood speaks better thing. Begin to declare Hebrews 12 24. He said to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, unto the blood of sprinkling that speaks better thing. The blood speaks better thing tonight. Yes, it speaks triumph. It speaks triumph over this matter. Yes, yes, yes. I come against you with the blood. I come against you with the blood. Exodus chapter 24, verse 6 and verse 8. Exodus 24, verse 6 and verse 8. Sprinkle it on yourself. Sprinkle it also on things that you've written. Yes, the Bible speaking in verse 6. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in a benzene and half of the blood. Put it in basins and half the blood. He sprinkled on the altar. That means he sprinkled on things. Verse 8. Then in verse 8, then he took the book and Moses took the blood. Sprinkled it on the people and said, this is the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you according to all these words. So Moses sprinkled the blood on something called the altar and Moses sprinkled it on the people. Now sprinkle on yourself. Begin to declare it over your life and the blood will speak over me. Anywhere I go, the blood is speaking. Everywhere I step into, the blood is speaking. In the air, the blood is speaking. In the land, the blood is speaking. In the sea, the blood is speaking. In business dealing, in the office, in the business, in everything, the blood is speaking. Begin to speak over your life. The blood is speaking. And it's speaking triumph. He's not speaking any other thing. He's speaking better things. He's speaking triumph. He's speaking triumph. He's speaking triumph. Open your mouth and begin to pray as you sprinkle the blood over things and over your life. The blood is speaking triumph. I prevail. I triumph. I prevail. I triumph. I shall not lose and I will not fail. I prevail and I triumph. The blood causes a great triumph. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to bless the name of the Lord our God. Let's begin to celebrate him. Let's begin to celebrate him. Let's begin to give him praise. Let's begin to thank him again for the amazing things that he has done. Give him thanks. It's also going to be a good time for us to give. It's also going to be a good time for us to give. Let's begin to give God praise. I'm sure most of us are conversant with the details of the account. Let's begin to give God thanks. And in the absence of that, I'm sure it's showing on the screen. You can uh, copy the details and then save it. And as we are led, just give unto God and appreciate him for what he has done. Of course, it's been an amazing time. We, we give you praise, O oh God. We celebrate you. We thank you. Please, don't stop praying this prayer. 
on the previous prayer, every now and then download, have it in your device, and keep playing it. You'll be surprised how the prayer will become an integral part of your life, and answers will be coming as often as possible. Thank you, mighty God, for what you've done. As many that are giving, I declare that we are giving in this altar and in this atmosphere because an eruption of diverse kinds of financial favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Take all, all the glory, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, I want to encourage everyone, um, if you can get the book, The Blood Triumph by Dr. David Oyedepo, you can get it. It's a powerful book and you go through it. Okay, what we do in this platform is to take us deeper in understanding the mystery that is in the blood. And please don't forget, um, um, in all our WhatsApp groups, okay, um, we're going to put up the number, maybe by tomorrow or thereabout, um, make sure you join our WhatsApp group for Praise at Midnight. Praise at Midnight will be starting sometime 1st of June, and run till 30th of June. This promises to be an amazing time in God's presence, okay? So um, we're encouraging people to be part of it, okay? We'll still find a way to carry our YouTube nations along and um, so that they will be blessed. More details will be coming up before then. God bless you. Have a beautiful night. Bye.